Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to yet another Q&A Friday. Uh, last week has been really nice actually, I like the feedback that I got from you guys on this first Q&A, Fry Q&A actually. Um, like I said, I will be dropping um, a weekly video on Friday where I will answer all your questions. And during the week I will post another thing where you can post your, qu your questions to me and I will go to those questions in the video. And I'll post it on Friday. I hope that's clear to you. So today's Friday. Today I'm going to post a new video, <coughs> including all the questions you've asked me this week. Um, I noticed that we got four questions this week, so let's just dive deeper into them and see uh, if I have a proper answer for you guys. So let's start off with the first one from Jao Gilhem. Uh, how to get in touch with a distributor to sell music on Beatport and other streaming services? Um, well, Jao, that's actually really easy nowadays because 10 years ago you needed to find a label and then you had to go to the distributor and need to sort out a contract and whatever. But nowadays you have a lot of websites like TuneCore, DistroKid, but there's a lot of other places where you can do the distribution right now on your own. Um, you pay a monthly or a yearly fee depending on which platform you use and they distribute your song to Spotify, iTunes, Beatport, whatever. Uh, but be aware of the fact that you first check to which platforms they actually distribute because I noticed that there are a few websites um, that aren't distributing their music to Beatport. So if Beatport is really important to you, make sure you find out which platforms work for you. Um, but like I said, it's actually pretty easy right now. It's like, I think it's the most of them are around 10 euros a year. So that's not expensive. The second question is from Nico Cipriano. Maybe it's not good for a Q&A, but my biggest problem is compression. When to compress? Which instrument? How? If an instrument goes... Okay, so when to use compression? I'm not the best mixing mastering guy out there, but I do know that you have to use compression when you have a really high peak in your sound and you want to take out that peak so you can turn the overall volume of that sound louder. But regarding that theory, I think the most important thing which you, sh you should always be doing as a, as a producer is listening. You have the theory, you know how to use compression, but if the, if the sound sounds well without compression and it does have a peak, who cares? In the end, it, the only thing that matters is how it sounds. So um, that in mind, I think you should only use compression if you have a really high peak and you want to turn the overall volume of that sound louder. Uh, but you can't because there's a too high peak in that and that's when you use compression. Um, let's go to the one from Mikos Pogo. An unknown label that contacts you and offers you a three song contract. Is it legit or is it a scam? Um, depends on which label it is but doesn't sound like a scam. Why not? It's probably, <coughs> it's probably legit but you should wonder, you should ask yourself is it a good idea to sign three tracks with an unknown label? Because what's the value that they are going to add to your release? Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can release your own music through other platforms yourself right now. So you can make sure your music ends up on Spotify, iTunes, whatever, by yourself, just by paying 10 euros a year. And if you sign your track, three tracks actually, with one label, what are they going to do? for that and why should you give them like probably 50% or whatever you should check the contract but what are they going to do for that in return so what's the value they're going to add to your release um, and if there's nothing you know like maybe they have a really good promotion plan you never know just sort it out because that's really important it doesn't necessarily have to be a scam but do be aware of the fact that they have to add value to the release otherwise you could do it better on your own um, Jonas the Bla Blazer how to release a song on Spotify, prices, legal requirements, plus how to find vocalists. So first part of the question, <coughs> how to release a song on Spotify, prices and legal requirements. Uh, it's actually the same story as the beginning of this video. Just go to those websites, send it out as distribution, pay the distribution website and that's it. As long as you don't use any material from other uh, tracks or from other producers or whatever and it's fully original, you're good to go. There's no option to, to uh, upload bootlegs on Spotify, uh, unofficial bootlegs or unofficial remixes. There's only original work. So that's 
one thing that you should be aware of. And how to, good, how to find good vocalists? Well, I actually made a video about that. It's on my YouTube channel as well. There's a few websites where you can find a lot of good vocalists. But in my opinion, the best way to find a good vocalist is to just do a hand-to-hand -hand combat game on SoundCloud. And just scroll through SoundCloud, keep clicking, keep clicking until you find one that you like. Uh, send, <coughs> reach out to them, send them a message and see if they're interested to work with you because there is a little, there's a lot of talent out there who is really energetic and ready to work with you but they just don't know how to reach you. So as long as it, is, as long as it isn't a big a singer out there, uh, you're good to go. Just approach them and ask if they would like to collab with you. So that's my big game, my big thing. I would would just go on SoundCloud and try to find my perfect singer or songwriter because otherwise you're gonna have to pay most of the time quite a lot of money um, and if yeah that, that's that's a bigger problem you know so um, those are the questions for this week next week is another version like I said if you have another question post it underneath this video right now or at the post from the upcoming week and uh, I will see you guys next week thanks for checking